我有点那一派绿色的军人，他们后面的坦克以及楼房还有天空，都是绿色，太阳也是绿色。我就看见了他，是梅梅，白色的连衣裙，刚洗过的头发，还飘在肩上。怎么会迎着枪口？我赶紧掏出口袋里的血信，扬着手去追他。然后我听到了黑色的枪声，他跪在了地上。中弹了吗？中弹了吗？就在这一刻，我的头脑突然炸开了。浑身剧烈的疼痛和耀眼的闪电震动着我的骨头，我也中弹了，要死了。又热又黏的血蒙住了我的眼，我的手想去捂住我的头，但找不到。有一种鸟，只有一只翅膀，一只眼睛。要合在一起才能飞翔。Two hundred leagues further north is the mountain of the triumphant horse. A winged horse with a black face and a white body sits at its summit. When a human approaches, it runs away. It flies away. After the god Shi Yu was killed by the emperor, he became a maple tree. A red snake lies coiled beneath the tree, keeping watch over it. On the north face of the mountain, the earth is red. A bird with six eyes lives there. When he appears, calamity will fall on the land. I stayed where I was. There was no one else around now. I stepped onto Chang'e Avenue and saw a long wall of green soldiers again. Everything was green. The soldiers, the tanks behind them, the buildings on either side. The sky was green, and the sun was greener still. Then I saw her. It was Al May in a long white dress. Her freshly washed hair floating softly around her shoulders. Why was she standing in the line of fire like that? I pulled the blood-stained letter from my pocket, waved it in the air, and ran towards her. I remembered going for a stroll with her one day and being annoyed at how slowly she walked. I began to imitate her gait. Which annoyed her so much, she pushed me off the pavement. There was a loud gunshot. Flecks of black light. And I saw her fall to her knees. The bullet hit her. As the question came to my mind. Was shaken by a bolt of pain. I'd been struck too. I was going to die. Hot, sticky blood poured down my face. My hand reached out to find my head. I couldn't find it. Body. I will have.
have to leave her behind. But none of that matters anymore. I am ready. I'm ready at last to detach from this fleshy tomb and let my soul, my spirit, scatter into the light. There is a species of bird that has but one wing and one eye. It must pair with his mate if it wants to fly.
Though clouds of darkness are spreading from east to west, that can't stop the song of freedom from traveling through time and space. As the spirit of the fallen heroes shines in the poet's vivid words, memories live on in the composer's everlasting musical notes. The tragedy of 34 years ago will never be forgot. Unyielding faith and prayer shall eventually receive the dawn of God's salvation.